Hello, my name is Dmitry Kolmogorov and I am going to introduce you to one of my favorite energy sources, the biogas. Where the biogas it... traces way back to the 18th century London, where it was drawn from the underground sewer pipes and burned in the street lamps. After the Industrial Revolution, the biogas lost its purpose and was replaced by coal and fossil fuels. This here is a homemade biogas generator. It is almost three months old and contains methane with carbon dioxide. The materials used in it could be bought in your local hardware store. After the manure was mixed with warm water, in a period of two weeks, aerobic bacteria should be produced, which will use up all of the oxygen in the tank while producing carbon dioxide, and then be replaced by anaerobic bacteria, which will produce methane by breaking down the manure excrements. All of this causes pressure in the tank, thus inflating the balloon with carbon dioxide and methane. The structure consists of a balloon, vinyl tubing to connect all of the parts, a tube connector to connect the 18-liter bottle, balloon and the Bunsen burner, corks to make sure no gas will leave the generator and the Bunsen burner from where the biogas is lighted up and burned. The generator should be covered by a dark cloth or kept in an area where the light from the sun can penetrate because algae might start producing which will use the sun's energy through photosynthesis to produce oxygen. Now we will activate the generator. First we need to gently squeeze the balloon so that the methane will be near the valve, ready to enter the tubing to the Bunsen burner. Then we will open the ball valve and wait a few seconds while the gas is flowing to the Bunsen burner through the vinyl tubing. Now we are ready to light up the biogas and use the clean energy for our purposes. Mm -hmm.